Now, a lot of places in this course, we actually prove that certain things sort of hold true, like the, the formula for distance and, and slope and so forth. We actually sat down and really saw why those things were true. And in fact, in mathematics, that really is what's at the heart of this business, namely why things are true. Not just a formula for something, but the proof or the verification that that formula really holds in general. And although we didn't do a lot of sort of proving of results and proving of formulas or proving of theorems, um, there's a technique that's actually really powerful and sort of fun to look at to actually prove a whole bunch of things true all at once. And I want to tell you the idea first and then take a look at some examples because, in fact, they dovetail nicely in our talk, discussions about you know, sequences and numbers and so forth. Now let's just think about something from a philosophical point of view. Suppose that I had sort of a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of statements, or a whole bunch of whatevers. And I knew that the very first statement were to be true. So that first statement, that's true. And suppose that I told you the following was a fact. If you knew that a particular statement in this list of statements uh, was to be true, then that would actually force the next statement to be true. Let me say it again, what I'm talking about. Suppose I have a list of statements. And I tell you that the first statement is true. This, the first statement's true. And then I tell you a basic sort of fact about life. That if you know a particular statement in this list is true, that forces the next statement to be true. I claim that just those two principles allows me to say that every single thing is true. And here's why. Since I know the first thing is true, then with the second principle, which tells me if I know something is true, the next thing is true, that means that if the first thing is true, the second thing must be true. For the, the second principle is that if something is true, the statement that follows it must be true. But now if I know the second statement is true, that forces the third statement to be true. And if I know the third statement is true, that forces the uh, fourth statement to be true, and so on. So in fact, I get all the statements true for free just by knowing that the first statement is true and the basic principle that if any statement is true, that forces the next statement to be true. In fact, there's a great way to think about this, and it really is sort of thinking about just dominoes lined up. Take a look here at what I made. Here, I have a whole bunch of dominoes. And think of these as actually statements. And for the statement to be true, that means the domino falls. Now think about it for a second, just sort of from a domino point of view. It's definitely the case that if this domino were to fall, that would force this domino to fall. Watch. You see? So if one domino falls, then we know the next domino will fall. So, if I know that the first domino falls, in particular if I push the first domino, that should force all the dominoes to fall, and thus proving that every single statement's true. So look what I'm using. The fact that I know the first domino falls, I know the first statement is true, and I know the general fact that if any domino falls, then its neighbor domino will fall as well. That tells me that all the dominoes must fall. That's induction. Let's see if induction works. Are you ready? I'm nervous. OK, so this is partial induction. This is induction where these fall, but then nothing else falls. OK, not as powerful as it could have been. But let's just see what happens here. Oh, -ho! OK, so that's a two-step induction, which I just made up. But I think you get a sense of what's going on here. The idea is something falls, that causes the next thing to fall, it causes the next thing to fall, and so on. So in fact, that really is at the heart of induction. And that allows us to actually prove things inductively, where here's the recipe. You prove that the very first case is true. You check that. Just check the first case is true. And then you prove the following fact. You prove the following is true. That if an arbitrary statement in this list is true, that forces the very next statement to be true as well. And if you can do that, if you can show that the first thing is true, and that if any one is true, that forces the next one to be true, then you really have got a domino-esque kind of thing going on here. Because what you really see is that you prove that, well, the first one's true, and then they all sort of line up, and you get them all to fall. Up next, I'll show you some real specific math examples that go beyond dominoes, and actually take a look at actually proving certain formulas are true, no matter what values you plug in. We'll take a look at those formulas and induction in action up next. I'll see you there.